at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer, ended our glorious conquest. Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. It's good to see you up and about again, Alric. Tell me, did you pay the elder seats here visit as I bid? Appointed personal envoy? <laughs> and now you are to bear the elder seats as missive to our allies? Well, it seems you've made an impression on the great woman. I can't argue with her judgement though. You've earned this honour. With Tyler's hard work and anyone who says you don't deserve it had better not do so in my hearing. I find myself praising you often of late, but Mother is truly proud of you. Short of a warrior of light, I can imagine no better adventurer to represent us, and that, my lad, is some compliment. But I flat you enough for one day, and I don't want your head to get too big or you'll struggle to look at around the realm. Speaking of which, Eorzea is quite a big old place. Now that you have an airship pass, you can really start to broaden your horizons. The sky is quite literally the limit. Even if your errand didn't call for it, I would strongly suggest visiting the two other city-states of the Alliance before you go anywhere else. They are, of course, Limsa Luminsa, City of Pirates, and Uldar, Jewel of the Desert. Once you've acquainted yourself with them, you can turn your sights on whichever lesser-trodden region takes your fancy. The calamity changed the face of Eosia and much of her now lies in shadow beyond man's ken. It's a veritable playground for a wide-eyed adventurer like your good self. Mind you, it won't all be fun and games. Each nation faces its fair share of problems, from internal strife to conflict with the beast tribes and their primals. So don't be too surprised if you find yourself embroiled in the odd unsavoury situation on your travels. But no matter what difficulties you encounter, I am confident that you will pull through and emerge the stronger for the experience. These are interesting times for you, Ozia Elric. It's been five years now since the Calamity, but folk are finally beginning to look to the future. A period of great changes upon us and you have a part to play in it. And if that prospect doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. Right, so uh, let's see, we've got to go to the uh, airship landing. And I think it said we were heading to Limsa Laminsa first. Or was it Uldar? <laughs> My memory is terrible. Greetings, good sir. This is the reservation counter for Limsa Laminsa bound flights. Oh, are you not Elric Fandrel, the Elder Seedseer's personal envoy? Wait, I win Skyways are honoured to serve you. Will you be flying with us today? I will indeed, yes. Alright, so uh, where do we go from here? Uh, not that way, down here. And just onto the airship itself. Attention all passengers, the airship bound for Limsa Liminsa is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. Right, so we're uh, going to be heading out now. Oh, and looks like everybody's here to see me off. Uh, Papalimo, Ida, uh, Meun, Oh Lord Lewin, and uh, Kani Senna. Farewell, Elric. One day minstrels will sing of your deeds. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal.
It has been 15 years, but the bitter taste of defeat lingers still. 15 years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Egrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious conquest. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Scheduled inspection. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey? What hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. Uh, my, my lord! Uh-oh. Looks like someone's in trouble. <laughs> Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. <laughs> Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. And here we are arriving in uh, Limsalominsa.
Right, so where do we go here? Uh, nope, not that way. Uh, right, this looks like it. Ah, you must be the envoy from Gridania. Welcome to Limsa Luminsa, my lord. Admiral Blofuswein awaits your arrival. Alright, so let's speak to this person here. You are the Gridanian envoy. Welcome to Limsa Luminsa. The Admiral has been looking forward to your arrival. Please proceed to the cruise lift at your earliest convenience. It will take you to Bulwark Hall. Once there, pray speak with Zanfail. He will be pleased to show you into the Admiral's command room on the bridge. Right, so uh, Bulwark Hall. And where? Oh, there it is. Greetings, sir, and welcome to our fair city. If you would permit me to examine the seal on the missive you carry. Of course, sir. Not a problem. Just doing your job. Yes, everything seems to be in order. My apologies. We cannot afford to be complacent, you understand? Please, step this way. Enter. I did not expect the Gridanian envoy to be an adventurer. It speaks highly of your character that the Elder Seedseer would choose an outsider to represent her nation's interests. This way. I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa, and Commander of the Maelstrom. Now, what news from the Black Shroud? Hmm, a memorial service to honor the Fallen. Seven Hells. Has it been five years? Five years since the Guardian Empire sought to wrest Eorzea from our grasp. It was in answer to the Imperial threat that the city-states formed the Grand Companies and forged the Eorzean Alliance anew. But Garlemald was not content to wager all on a simple contest of martial might. They had other plans. The Meteor Project. Agatus Nail Van Darnus, Hells take him, intent to cleanse our realm by snatching the Lesser Moon Delamud from the heavens and casting it down upon our heads. Desperate to prevent this lunatic scheme, we marched our forces to the Cardinal Flats and there we met the 7th Imperial Legion in battle. Never have I seen a fight like the Battle of Cardinal, and I have seen full many. But though we gave no quarter, spared not one ounce of effort, we could not prevent what followed. From inside the shell of Delamud came a winged nightmare, a dragon the size of a bloody city. It was the Elder Primal Bahamut bent on making an eight fell of Eorzea. In the space of a breath, the legions of the Empire were set aflame, while our own armies fed little better. It was as if the whole world was burning. Words cannot well describe the scene. And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even as I steeled myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, robbing me of my senses. When I regained them, the dragon was gone, and the still smouldering land was warped beyond all knowing. Were Archon Louis Soir still with us, he would doubtless shed some light on these unfathomable happenings. Alas, he is not and I fear we will want for his wisdom in the days to come. But while our nation struggled to recover from the devastation, the beastmen called forth their damned primals to torment us anew. And as we put aside our differences and rebuild now, our forces will catch us unprepared. And I speak not only of the beastmen. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken its claim on Eorzea. The Imperials crowd our borders waiting to strike. Damn it all, we need champions to replace those we lost. But such forts are worse than worthless. Time is short and none will save us, save ourselves. It is the duty of every soul who survived the calamity to work together for the good of Eorzea, and this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. Aye, Kani Senna has the right of it. I accept her proposal. Your duty is done here, adventurer. 
I will see to it that the Elder Seertia receives my reply. You travel next to Uldar, yes? I do indeed. Pray give my regards to General Rauban. Oh, and tell him the wolf has been sniffing around the stables. Private jest, and one in poor taste, but I would have you tell all the same. Fare you well, Elric. May the navigator guide you on your journey. Right, so uh, we're due to go to Uldar next, but first of all we're going to collect the uh, Ethernet shards in this uh, town, because it should make life a little bit easier uh, going forward throughout the main story quest. So first of all, of course, uh, just get the main Ephrite Plaza. And then there's another one down here uh, at the end of the markets. And uh, just briefly for those who haven't uh, seen the previous two episodes, if the audio seems a little bit jarring uh, on this uh, episode, that's because OBS Studio, my recording software, decided that it was going to uh, disable my microphone without me being aware of it until uh, until I came to edit the episodes and found that uh, my voiceover was gone. So yeah, I haven't really recorded at all and uh, if everything sounds a bit out of place, that's why. <laughs> So we're going down there towards the uh, Arcanist's Guild. And uh, also the Ferry Docks. That will uh, take you to one of the other regions of uh, Lanoskia. Oh, no, sorry, I tell a lie. I just spotted on the map there before it disappeared. Uh, Western Fanalan, apparently. Oh well, never mind. So uh, now we're heading over to uh, the Ferry Docks. But we're going to go there via the Hawker's Alley uh, teleport node. That should make our life a little bit uh, quicker. Take up less time uh, running around. I believe you have to go down uh, downstairs a bit to reach this one at the Fisherman's Guild. Uh, there's actually two floors to Limsa Liminsa, the lower decks and the upper decks. We're actually still on the lower decks at the moment. But uh, later on, we'll have to head back to the upper decks to get the Marauders Guild uh, shard, I believe. And here we are at the uh, Fisherman's Guild. Just to the left of us here is uh, where you would get the side job, side uh, class of uh, fishing. It's uh, quite interesting compared to what is in uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, quite a bit more interesting. A bit more of a challenge. Not just a case of click and wait, it's uh, I believe there was a little bit of a mini game to it. Although my memory's there struggling a little bit at the moment. Either way. Right, uh, upstairs a little bit more. Right, so we're uh, just around this corner to get to the uh, upper decks. And just through the store, we should be approaching the Aft Castle. A lot of uh, seasonal events uh, tend to start here. So, uh, location for you to remember if you're still new to the game. So I think uh, once we get to Uldar later on, we will just get the main Aethroid Plaza and uh, leave the rest to be collected more naturally. As uh, all this running around, getting the uh, teleportation shards can't be uh, particularly uh, engaging content for you guys. <laughs> so now we're just coming over this way to the Culinarians Guild. And uh, that's where you would get the side job, side class for to uh, become a cook. Alright, so uh, just up this way. Over this little bridge here and on to the Marauders Guild. And I believe this building here is for the uh, alchemy training. I know that there's definitely a profession for it, but I'm not 100% sure that this is the alchemy location, as uh, obviously there's none of those uh, blue plus sign quest icons there to suggest it. Either way, here's the Marauders Guild. Mm, right, 
access to Zeph Zephyr Gate, Middle Lanos Gear, uh, Tempest Gate, Lower Lanos Gear. And back to the airship landing, ready to head on to uh, Ulda. Greetings, sir. This is the counter for passengers travelling to Ulda. Pleasure to serve you again, sir. Are you ready to board the airship to Ulda? I am indeed. Now, I don't know if there's a uh, cutscene or not for this uh, particular trip. I don't think there is, but we'll uh, see in a moment. Right, so uh, here we are in Ulda. Uh, let's have a look. Where do we need to go? Right, just this person here. Ah, you must be the envoy from Gridania. Welcome to Ulda, sir. The Flame General awaits your arrival. Welcome to Ulda, sir. We have been expecting you. Flame General Rauban will receive you in the Fragrant Chamber. Please take the lift down to the Husting Strip and speak with Bartholomew at the Royal Promenade. Right, so uh, just speak to the lift attendant here. Go down to the Hustings Strip. And have a quick look down here. There's an Ethernet uh, shard for us to pick up. We might as well grab that. It's in our way, so yeah. <laughs> right, uh, might as well keep coming around this way and uh, get this next Ethernet shard. And this is for the uh, Alchemist's Guild. So uh, I was actually wrong earlier when I said in Limsalomensa that that was the uh, Alchemist's uh, training location. Oh wait, hang on. Goldsmith's Guild? I'm sure I saw Alchemist's Guild on the uh, map. <laughs> Right, so we'll uh, get back up there. Alright, I see where my error is. Uh, if we were to keep going straight ahead here and then take a left, that takes us around to what appears to be the Alchemy Guild. Right, so we're just going to uh, head around this way to uh, get to speak with Rauban. Oops, uh, nope, not that way. Getting myself confused. Right, so it should uh, be just up here on the right. The Gridanian Envoy, I presume? Would you be so good as to allow me to inspect the missive you bear, sir? My thanks. Yep, of course. Here you go. Ah yes, the seal of the Elder Seeds here. Please proceed. Ah, a guest from Gridania. I thought I smelled leaf mold. I won't hold it against you. If you're half the warrior Kane says, Tis a wonder you don't reek of dead Ixal. Welcome to the Sultanate of Ulda. I am Rauban al-Din, General of the Immortal Flames. But you did not come all this way to trade formalities. Cartano, aye, I remember bloody Cartano. Do you know what happened that day, adventurer, when we took the field against the Garleans? So my counterparts have educated you. Hmm. Oh, trust Mill Whip to make light of our wolf problem. Women always did have a black sense of humour. Wolves are bloodthirsty beasts upon which one cannot turn one's back. It is only a matter of time before they bite. So it was with the Garleans fifty years ago. 
No sooner had they learned how to use Magitek than they began seizing territory from their neighbours. Led by then Legatus Solosos Galvis, they swiftly brought the other nations of Ilzabad to heel. And so the Legatus became an emperor, and his republic an empire. An empire which then set its sights upon Eorzea. But the conquering emperor is now an old man of fourscore winters. His health is failing, and he is no clear successor. Like as not, this is why the Guardians have been quiet of late. But the 14th Imperial Legion is still entrenched within our borders. And their commander, Legatus Gaius van Belsar, has long harboured ambitions of conquest. Were he to strike now, I fear we would fall like so many of us before us. And not only Uldar, but Gridania and Limsa as well. For the Clampney brought a lot of us to our knees, and we've yet to get up. We barely have the strength to stand against the beast tribes, never mind the primals they mean to summon. We are a realm divided adventurer, an alliance in name only. But the wolf cares not for the plight of its prey. The Garleans stir, and the Admiral would not let it go unnoticed. All of her concerns pale in comparison to the Empire, even the beast tribes and their bloody primals. We must stand united once more, that much is clear. And if we're to do so, we must remember the cause which last brought us together. Carnea will have her memorial. We will honour the memory of the fallen. We will remind the people what their brothers and sisters fought and died for. Shall I inform the Sultana and the Syndicate? I will speak with her grace myself. Very good, sir. The Elder Seeds here will have my reply and on. My thanks to you, adventurer. Nope, oh, and there's the uh, wind-up airship toy that we were promised at the start. Before you may board an airship, you must pay the requisite fare and guild. So we'll just leave that there and call it an episode, and we'll see you guys next time.